Hey friends, Miss Kristen here. I am, yeah, okay. Um, I am hopping on to share an activity that you guys can do with your preschoolers. Um, it's our hidden treasures activity and you just need a couple of materials. There is a PDF that will um, be on our website and on our Facebook page with everything that you need if you don't feel like jotting it down while you watch this. Ooh, that could have been bad. I almost spilled the things. Uh, I feel like jotting it down while you watch this video. So um, it is, uh, all you really need actually is um, a clear container, like um, a mason jar, or like an old spaghetti sauce jar or a water bottle, um, some, some kind of clear container. I'd say, you know, you don't want it too terribly big, um, but you don't want it to be like a tiny little Tupperware container. But a Tupperware container will also work. Um, the more sides you can see through, the better. Um, you'll also need rice, or if you've got sand, make sure both of them are dry. And then this is a fun part um, that your little one can help you with, kind of go on a scavenger hunt um, for small toys or trinkets like buttons um, or if you've got doll shoes or little beads, letters, things, um, things that are small because they are going to go inside here. And the whole point of this is that we'll fill it with rice and then we'll sprinkle. I've got a whole bunch of different things, some beads that look like bows. Yep. Um, different buttons, shapes, and colors, um, letter beads that spell out words, um, just little little trinkets. They could be Lego men or tiny little cars. Whatever you have that's small and usually obnoxious to step on, that's what I would recommend go in here. Um, and you're going to stagger the, I'm using rice, uh, but you can also use sand. Um, you're going to stagger it so when we shake it all up, it mixes a little bit easier. But make sure you write down everything you have, like a yellow dragonfly and a pink umbrella and a green button. Um, I've got words or letter beads that spell out dance, play, and sing. Um, so what we'll do is I've got my jar and I've got my rice. And so I'll put about a third that's more like a half. Math was not my fort. That's why I was a librarian. And I'll grab a handful of the, the thingies, the little trinkets, sprinkle them in. And then put some more rice in. Let's see. And then I'll dump the rest of the little trinkets and add some more rice. And you want to make sure you leave a little bit at the top um, because as you see, we'll be shaking, shaking it up. And you want there to be enough room so that they can find the thing. So they'll, you'll write the list, like I said, a purple star, a pink star, red dragonfly, Barbie shoe, Lego man, matchbox car, button, thimble, it can be anything. Um, you will just want it to contrast. Um, and then if you want, you can hot glue, um, you can hot glue the lid closed so it can't come off. Um, and then they can just take turns going through, uh, and if you've got multiple children, going through and finding each of the objects. Um, it's a really simple, easy thing that you can create. They can help you find the objects and then help you put it together. You can even make a fun little math game. You can count things. You can you can do all of one color. Um, you can you can make this as specific um, or as haphazard as you like. And then it's um, also if they really get excited about finding it, you can create a scavenger hunt for your uh, for your little one around the house. Um, if that sounds like too much work, I get it. Uh, you can also do warmer and colder. That's one of um, one of my favorite games and that's where you can just put something somewhere hidden in the house they go look for it and you just yell warmer if they're getting closer colder if they are um getting farther away from it and it's a fun little fun little game to add to this activity um the most time consuming part will probably be finding the things to go inside of your little treasure tube so we'd love to hear what you guys end up putting in your tube, what you create. Um, 
like I said, there'll be a PDF template um, that's, that's blank that you can write down each little item that you put in your little treasure jar. Um, and then there'll also be the materials and instructions. But as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, staying safe, getting outside some fresh air. Um, and we hope to see you all very soon when it's safe to be together again. Bye guys.